Greetings, one and all. Welcome to NHL Ideas, the show where I discuss certain ideas that could be implemented within the NHL or the hockey world as a whole. Our topic today is a nationality cap for the NHL. And by this, I mean a limit to the amount of players on every team born in a certain country. Now, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Before you think I'm going all Hitler on this situation, give me a chance to explain myself. It's not what it looks like. So, similar, it's a similar idea to the one the British Elite Ice Hockey League implements, which is the highest hockey circuit in Britain. They have introduced a import cap, uh, quote unquote, which means that only, there are a certain amount of imported, so foreign players, that can play on each EIHL team. I believe it's roughly 14 at the moment. So that means 14 players can be imported players. That means the other six players on a 20-man squad have to be British players. So let's take a look at the idea that I'm presenting here. So there's 20 players on a team, 12 forwards, 6 defensemen, 2 goaltenders, 18 skaters, 2 goalies, if you want to think about it like that. My proposed plan is you have seven Canadian players maximum, seven American players maximum, and six European players maximum. Now, I know what you're thinking. There should be loads more Canadian players on the squad. There should be less European players on the squad. And the American players we're not quite sure about because they weren't very good at the World Cup. But this way, teams will have to think more carefully about the players they select for their roster. And every team would have more access to hockey's current superstars as you can only take seven Canadian players off, off the roster that you've already got, there will be plenty of Canadian players potentially that don't make the cut. Therefore, some of the other teams around the league can pick those guys up and be like, oh, he's a superstar, but the team that he's originally drafted with or he plays with for most of his career, they don't have a spot for him on the roster with their new nationality cap. So we're going to take him. He's going to come and be a superstar here. However, this does cause an issue. I'm well aware of that. Many talented players would be left off the NHL rosters and would seek to play elsewhere. Like, if, if there's not enough space for some of these on-the-cusp, solid NHLers, and no, no teams want them because they don't have enough space on the, uh, on the nationality cap, they're going to go play somewhere else, like the KHL, or the AHL, or maybe something like the Swedish League, or the, the National League, something like that. They, they will seek to play hockey elsewhere. Whilst this may negatively impact the NHL, though, if you think about it this way, if we leave it as a light at the end of the tunnel type situation, whilst this would negatively impact the NHL, there may be a rise in popularity towards hockey around the globe because of this. Say if a Sidney Crosby or a Jamie Benn or a Steven Stamkos or a Braden Holtby, say if there was no space for them on the roster, I mean, those guys, they're guaranteed on the roster, but say a player like that, say a Johnny Goodrow or a Sean Monaghan, something like that, say... If they don't get a spot on the roster because the cap's full, say none of the other teams want to take them because they haven't got any space on the nationality cap, they could go to somewhere like the the British Ice Hockey League, for example, go and play for them. He could grow the sport single-handedly in England because people will be so stunned about how well he plays, they'll come to watch him. That, that could be an idea, maybe. Who knows? Now, you could easily argue that the British Ice Hockey League does this import cap because British ice hockey players aren't all that good. But putting a limit on it means that certain British players do have the opportunity to play big minutes and become better players overall. So whilst whilst British players are a bit crap in fairness, well, no offence guys, but you're not as good as, as Canada. I mean, that, I think that's a given. But whilst, whilst they have that import tax, or not import tax, import cap, you can also think that British players are getting a chance to play on the teams as well and improve. So therefore, British ice hockey in general, because they're playing with these very talented uh, foreign players, also improve tremendously as well. Meaning great British ice hockey is improving as well. Meaning people start to take notice of that ice hockey and want to come and play there, for example. Now, I will leave this up to you guys. Do you think this would help or hinder the National Hockey League? Would this make all the NHL teams more balanced? Or would it end up sending talented players elsewhere as the quota is full? I personally don't think there should be a nationality cap. I think it's a horrible idea. But I want to put the idea out there because some other leagues do use it. So yes, please feel free to leave your opinion in the comments below. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.